Hello all you fabulous teachers, welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoy my last day in my long term slot. Happy Friday everybody, it is my last day here and I'll, <laughs> um, so I don't know how much I've explained about my classroom but I do have a student who is selectively mute and um, the student writes on a whiteboard to communicate or like writes on a piece of paper to communicate and um, I, I don't know as kind of a newer teacher getting told that there's a parent down waiting for you in the office hoping to talk to you is kind of nerve-wracking I was really nervous um, just because you don't know like if they're coming in to you know want to yell at you sorry I always like check to see if there's like people wanting to get my attention out out the door but you know you just don't know you don't know if it's gonna be positive or negative so she I got a call from the office and they were like oh the students parent is here and they'd like to talk to you and my first reaction is like oh god like what did I do what did I say you know is there something is this going to be a negative experience and she says do you want me to bring to have her come down to the classroom or do you want to come down to the office and I said I'll come down to the office because if it is negative I wanted it to be kind of in more of like a social I don't know area that has a lot of traffic and people in there as opposed to my room that's kind of like in the back of the building and stuff so just to be safer um, maybe I should have had her come down to my room I don't know but Anyways, this parent told me that her son, my student who is selectively mute, is really sad and was crying last night and is going to miss me. <laughs> and I, it just makes me want to cry because it's like, that's a student who, you know, I, it's not that I don't think that the teacher in here you know I don't think she was like wanting to not have a relationship with him but I don't think she ever really I don't know I don't want to assume anything but I don't think they had a great relationship and I think not that I've like overly tried to have a relationship but I think I've had a really good relationship in these last 30 days than I think she did in the whole school year I don't know just just a guess I'm not sure and this mom even told me that you know he's been going to the school probably since kindergarten I think she said kindergarten or he's been going to the school for a long time and has never said that about a teacher and it just makes me want to cry because it's like you know these other students if they say that like yeah it's like it makes me feel good makes my heart happy but like to have a student who, I don't know, like, who the other teacher just said she, like, never really had a relationship with, didn't really know how to, like, I don't know, and so the fact that, like, these things are being told to mom, and, like, mom's kind of secretly coming in and telling me, because she said he didn't want her to come in and tell me these things, like, it just makes my heart really, really happy, and makes me really sad. Usually I'm not sad. On these last days of school um, I don't know I just never really like it's like sad but like I'm not crying or upset but like I truly feel like I could just go and cry because it makes me so happy to know that you know the things that I did over this time impacted the student enough to like be crying and telling his mom that he's gonna miss me and the fact that, that like hasn't happened with other teachers is pretty incredible and it's kind of those moments where you're like wow <laughs> like I might be actually doing something good so just wanted to share that um, yeah I don't know happy Friday happy last day to me <laughs> Uh, it just warms my heart. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> so, Q.
cute. This girl brought in this flower and she said she painted this little can and I love it so much. I've been really into flowers lately and that just warms my heart that I got some little flowers on my last day. So usually as my gift, I like to give the kids pencils. So I found these ones in the Target dollar spot and I'm just sharpening them right now. They're kind of some fun summer ones with flamingos and mermaids and sharks and stuff. So I hope they like those. I also sharpened them because there's nothing worse than giving them pencils and having to have them like all stand at the sharpener for 10 minutes sharpening their pencils. So these are the unsharpened ones and the sharpener kind of uh, conked out on me a little bit so I'm waiting for it to kind of cool down and then I will sharpen the rest of them and they came 10 in a pack so I just got three packs for three dollars and they're kind of an easy one kids use them every day and they're really cute the other kind of gift I guess I got were these M&Ms they're just some milk chocolate M&Ms and some Skittles the reason I got these was because um, <clears throat> The teacher before me used these on a different day for math, so I figured these would at least be okay. One of my students is allergic to M&Ms, so that's why I have the Skittles. And um, yeah, so these are kind of my like other gift. We're gonna do a little bit of, I'll show you the end of the schedule. So I just wrote next to the schedule kind of what we're doing. So they're at art right now. And then we're going into Reader's Workshop. We're going to read this called book. Trooper. I think I showed you guys this earlier this week, but um, basically pictures are by E.B. Lewis, and it's a story from the dog's perspective on finding a home, so it's really, really cute. And then I'm hoping we might be able to go outside and read for a little bit. And then we have writer's workshop, so I'm just going to do some watercolor. They need to finish up their pictures. We're going to do a little bit of fun with watercolor, and then they can catch up on their Geometro City. I'm going to go outside with them for recess. We're going to have lunch together as a big class in the classroom. And then math, they need to finish their Geo Metro City. And then after that, they can do Chromebooks or chess or cribbage or generally just kind of hang out. And then end of the day, we're doing some trivia to win pencils and chocolate and, and or Skittles. So that's kind of my day so far. Or my day. Um, sorry, that's kind of my last day. So makes me sad, but... Kind of exciting as well. Hi guys, so the day is over and um, it was quite the day, but I have some pretty flowers to bring home like I showed you guys. And yeah, I have a lot of papers that I need to bring home. So that's going to be kind of tough to bring that just because I have so many. Kid made me cards, so sweet. So I'm just going to try to fit all of these into my bag, otherwise I'm just going to have to recycle them. So yeah. So this is my wiping it down the desk. You can see I got it pretty much cleared off. I just have a couple of extra pencils over here and the remote, which I think I'll just wipe this guy off. Oh, so crazy. So I'm just going to get the table all nicely wiped up. And then I just got to grab my stuff and go. Crazy. All right, I'm all geared up. Just need to turn off the light and close the door. Bye, guys.